DEMA, that's the Dive Equipment and Marketing Association, released the news this week that they are carefully monitoring the situation at the Las Vegas Convention Center to see if it makes sense for the DEMA show, the world's largest business-to-business -business scuba diving trade show, should go ahead in 2021. My question is, do they need to bother? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. It's so great to see all of your smiling faces. We're back once again with yet another Mouthpiece Monday. You know the drill. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. Let's just dive straight into the content. Dima show, what is it? What problems are they facing? And what could possibly be done about it? Well, the DEMA show, or DEMA, is the Dive Equipment and Marketing Association, and it's the largest business-to-business -business trade show in the scuba diving industry. It's a store war, it's on the calendar. It's, it's been there for like 35, 40 years. I don't even know how long it's been running. It's been running a long time. Obviously last year with COVID, they didn't have a show on and they went digital instead. And by all accounts, it was an epic failure. Trade shows in general across all industries are getting smaller and smaller and smaller as technologies like Zoom replace the need to meet your clients face to face. We can just do and show and tell. We can create video content. So do we still need the DEMA show? That's what we're going to talk about this Mouthpiece Monday. And I've been to the last five, and I think I've been to probably eight in total. Uh, it shows they alternate normally between Las Vegas and Orlando. Last year's 2020 was cancelled, but it was supposed to be in New Orleans, which I was really looking forward to. Of course, thanks a lot, COVID. Really appreciate it. But, you know, Las Vegas makes total sense. Why not have a scuba diving conference in the middle of the bloody desert? And yes, because of COVID, they opted for a digital format, which was planned on short notice. I kind of feel sorry for them uh, and not very well executed. If we're honest, a bit of a flop uh, by all accounts. I have friends who were moderators for the seminars that nobody showed up to and yeah, it's, it's, it's awkward. Also at the last show I went to in 2019, it was by far the smallest show. And that's in spite of what Dima put out as their official statistics. I have absolutely no faith in the integrity of the statistics that Dima put out because Dima make their money by selling booth spaces. So they don't want to be seen to be shrinking. But let me tell you, it was a smaller show. It had less exhibitors. It had less floor space. And the crowds, the attendees, were definitely less. There's no way about it. I've been to the last five and I've watched it slowly get smaller. Example in, in point, Scuba Pro. One of the biggest names in scuba diving, one of the largest manufacturers. They said no to the DEMA show 2019. We're not gonna do it. And I completely sympathize with them because think about it from their point of view. They already have a really strong network of sales reps in every single territory. The cost for them to bring everybody to Vegas, put them up in hotels, feed them for the weeks, plus the cost of the booth itself and all the merchandise and all that stuff. Why, why do they need to do that? We have so many more technological advances to announce our product releases. We don't need a world fair anymore of scuba diving. It, it doesn't make sense. We made a series of videos at the 2019 DEMA and I'll link them up above there if you haven't seen them. But to be honest, the show overall, I was underwhelmed by the new innovations and the new offerings on display. There weren't any massive leaps in technology. Well, all right, there was that Russian rebreather death helmet, but we haven't heard from them since, so I don't know what's going on there. For example, I drove all the way to Orlando to find out that Apex had a new mask out. whoop de doo That could have been an email. And then going back to 2018, before we even had the channel, I was working for a big box retailer that has both brick and mortar retail operations and a pretty strong e-commerce platform. And I was at the show, at the Dima show, and I bumped in to the two buyers for our company. These are the decision makers for what products we're gonna carry. And they're going around and chatting with all the manufacturers and giving orders and so on. And I, I stopped them and I said to them, out of pure curiosity, do you guys need to be here? Like, is this a big deal for you? Is this like the, you know, the highlight of your year? And they're like, no, we hate it. Send us a catalog. We'll call you if we've got any questions and we'll place your orders. There is absolutely no reason we need to waste a week of our life in Orlando. It's, it's not a thing. So those guys are like two of the buyers, decision makers, power brokers for a big retail scuba operation. And they don't even want to go to the DEMA show. So why do we do it every year? 
Well, I'll tell you, 90% of the reason that I go to DEMA is social. I go there to see my friends that are spread all over the world that I've worked with that come together for the show. And it's mainly the evenings out, hanging out and sharing stories and having laughs. That's why I go to the DEMA show. The other 10% is, hey, maybe there might be the hope of something new or innovative that's gonna you know, rock my world, but that just doesn't seem to happen these days. But besides the trade floor and the booths and all the exhibitors, DEMA is also supposed to be about education. They're supposed to put on a whole range of seminars to help dive center owners, even like on topics outside of diving, for example, how to do merchandising in a retail operation or social media to promote your business and market and you know modern sales techniques and all this kind of stuff, trainings that will help grow the industry. Well, I went to one of these seminars in 2019 on the subject of, you guessed it, YouTube. Now, I get, I understand that I probably have more intimate knowledge of the back end and the workings of YouTube than the average dive center manager. Of course, I understand that. But let me tell you guys, this seminar was cringe-worthy. It was brutal. It was like the time that Mark Zuckerberg had to explain to a Senate SMS, <laughs> hang on, eh, there we go, a Senate Select Committee what the internet was and how it worked. It was like that. Now, either Dima presume that the average level of technological understanding of a dive center owner scattered around the world is at the same level of their technological understanding. And if you want to know what I mean by that, go and look at not the DEMA show, but the actual DEMA website and your time travel back to 2003. Or the dive industry is in a worse state than I would already feared. If DEMA is going to bounce back from taking a year off because of COVID, it needs an injection of youth and technology. It needs to be exciting again. I'm so fed up of being bored walking around the DEMA show and Las Vegas where I don't want to be anyway. I'd rather just go diving and read a scuba diving magazine and read the adverts as to find out what new products are out there. I really, really would. So they need to find a way to inject more incitement into the show. They need to tailor seminars that are going to be more interactive and more interesting and go deeper into subjects to actually provide a proper education, not now you create a login for YouTube. That can be your email address. I mean, come on, man. It's a dive show. It should be exciting. Come on. Let me give you another example of how backwards Dima are when it comes to technology. Recently, they released a uh, marketing packet, some collateral, and it was posts that you can modify to share on your social media. They, uh, I read the packet. It was perfectly suited for the MySpace crowd. So the fact that there was no DEMA show last year and I didn't really miss it has got me questioning whether or not I should even bother to attend this year. And the reason I'm making this video now is if there is to be a show in 2021, it's six months away. So I wanted to call on all you guys and that's the best part of this community. There's the comment section down there. Leave me a note and let me know, like, do you guys go to the DEMA show? Do you enjoy it? Uh, why do you go to the DEMA show? And does it give you the value you're looking for? Because for me, it really doesn't and I'm kind of over it and I don't want to go to the desert and I don't want to spend the money and I'd rather go diving. But who knows? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't done so already, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and give us the odd thumbs up. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit... <coughs> I'm losing my voice, I think. I'm a little bit hoarse. <laughs> a little bit hoarse, get it? Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name's James. This was your Mouthpiece Monday from Divers Ready for this week. Dive safe, dive often.